evening you welcome to our glory globe tv here's a breaking news from india yes digital collectibles connects its business worldwide and in india under the trade name radio radio filed a plea in the high court on february 28 to prevent rivals mpl and web3 fantasy platform striker from using caricature and identifiers such as names and surnames it had licensed from some sports persons under exclusive deals to offer them as non fungible tokens that is called nfts on its platform the use of names or images of celebrities for art secure news or music is permissible as a facet of the right of freedom of speech and expression would not infringe the celebrity's right to publicity the delhi high court said on wednesday the high court gave its decision denying interim relief to dream 11's subsidiary and singapore based entity digital collectibles pte limited in its suit against mobile premier league and an application strike digital collectibles carries its business worldwide and in india under the trade name radio in my opinion use of celebrity names images for the purposes of lampooning satire parodies or scholarship music academics news and other similar uses would be permissible as facts of the right of freedom of speech and expression under article 19 First Bracket 1 and A of the Constitution of India and would not fall foul to the tort of infringement of the right of publicity, Justice Amit Banzal said. Radio filed a plea in the High Court on February 20 to prevent rivals MPL and OF3 fantasy platform striker from using caricature and identifiers such as names and surnames it had licensed from some sports person under exclusive deals to offer them as non fungible tokens on its platform the suit by radio alleged that the defendants were minting and distributing nfts which captured the images of players with whom the plaintiff had entered into exclusive license agreement an nft is a unique digital identifier meaning it cannot be replaced and is recorded on a blockchain nfts are used to certify ownership and authenticity in the gaming industries nfts are used to represent in game items such as weapons or even entire virtual environments these items can be traded like traditional collectibles and generate revenue for game developers in its interim order justice bansal said that the right of publicity cannot be seen as an absolute right in india in the absence of specific legislation while also adding that it cannot be infringed merely on the basis of a celebrity being identified or the defendants make commercial gains the extent of the right of publicity also has to be considered in the context of the right to freedom of speech and expression protected under article 19 1 a of the constitution even if the right of publicity were to be considered to be an absolute right in india it still must be sub servient of article 19 a ye the court noted stating that radio cannot claim an exclusive right over the use of an nft technology which is freely available the court stated that the defendant used the nft technology to ensure security and authenticity as a means of proof of ownership of its cards and to keep a record of transaction on a blockchain in my considered view the use of the name and or the image of a celebrity along with data with regards to his on field performance by ofs platforms is protected by the right to freedom of speech and expression under article 19 1a of the constitution of india it is a settled position of law that protects an under article 19 by a extends to commercial speech as well therefore even if the defendants are using players names images and statistics for commercial gain this would be protected under article 19 by a of the constitution of india the court said in its order the court added that the defendants mpl and striker were already running their game for almost 6 months and the grant of an ex party injunction order would 
gravely prejudice their business and the plaintiff's radios application seeking exemption from the advanced services was not bona fide. Even of the parameter of balance of convenience of irreparable harm, I am of the view that these factors are in favor of the defendants and against the plaintiffs and injunction granted at this stage would result in the closure of the business of defendant number two striker and would cause huge financial losses not only to defendant number two but also to the user of the striker platform the court say. Glory Globe to be Delhi India.